Fred Weir is a journalist and political commentator. Mr. Weir is joining us live from Moscow. Good to see you, sir. Help me understand this. President Putin says there's a very high possibility that Ukraine was involved in the terror attack and not ISIS, despite the group claiming responsibility. And now Ukrainian president saying that Putin should deal with terrorism from within, a statement that the U.S. is backing and saying that it was indeed ISIS. So who's saying what and who should be believed at this point? Well, I don't think there is a <clears throat> clear or final resolution of this, um, but it seems most likely that um, this is the scenario that Russian security experts have been warning about for years. And that is if uh, Taliban comes back to power in Afghanistan, as they now have, it will once again become an incubator of extremism and terrorism that will infiltrate into Russia via the ex-Soviet uh, Central Asian states uh, like Tajikistan and indeed these four terrorists that were captured are Tajiks, Tajik citizens, I mean not Russians at all. Um, so I, I, I mean I understand Russians they want to reach for Ukraine as as the explanation. Um, it's, it's wishful thinking more than anything that's evidence-backed. And if they are going to make that accusation, um, I, I think they'd better present an awful lot of solid, convincing evidence. Because it's it's not the sort of thing that Ukrainians do. And they do do some nasty things, like assassinating Russian journalists and trying to blow up the Crimea Bridge and so on. But this is a different order of magnitude. And, and the modus operandi of that massacre was much more up ISIS alley. Uh, we've seen it in other places, and, and, and we know that ruthless uh, slaughtering of people face-to-face -face, um, is, is, is what th those, those uh, Islamist terrorists do, okay. not Ukrainians or Russians, by the way. Uh, so I think, I think that I hope that the Russians will be sensible about this, or, but it could be. I mean, it could be that these, these terrorists had an escape route or something that they'd planned out through Belarus or Ukraine, because where they were caught is close to both of those borders. Mr. Weir, let's talk about the attackers now, and you've mentioned it. Russia says all the detained attackers are foreigners. Will that have any impact on the probe? Um, no, I, I, I think I, 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 I think it's um, uh, they're they're going to be. Uh, subjected to massive interrogations and every every thing is going to be is going to come out I don't know when we'll get the full story if we ever will or how it might be curated um, but uh, this this uh, I, I think the the Russians will and you see it already happening try to weave this into anti-ukrainian propaganda because they are at war with ukraine and and uh bombing ukrainian cities every day and and ukraine is firing back with drones sometimes drones fired at moscow and other russian cities but um i i i think i mean this is my opinion that this is just one of those black swan events mm -hmm. it came out of left field we haven't had any serious terrorism in Moscow for over 20 years so no one was expecting it everyone was complacent that concert venue had no protection at all the security guards at the door weren't even armed with guns uh, it, it this this will probably change now Mo Moscow will go into a real security lockdown which it hasn't experienced in, in well, two years of warfare. Mm -hmm. Being a capital of a city at war, it looked more like a peacetime place for these past two years, and I guess in the future it won't. Okay, let's then talk about that propaganda then, because there is suspicion of Ukraine being involved in the attack. Many speculate that the going will get tough for Ukraine in the battlefield, meaning the war will escalate. Your thoughts, quickly. Well, yes, I think the war will escalate. The going will get tough for Ukraine. Russia is preparing new armies to launch a summer offensive. Uh, uh, but that was that trajectory was already set. It probably, hopefully, won't be affected by this terrorist event. Uh, but, uh, yes, I, I think the war is going to heat up considerably in the months to come. 
All right, I've been talking to Fred Weir, who's a journalist and also a political commentator. Mr. Fred Weir, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.